Thank you very much. Great conversation. We are members and guests. Good morning. There are uh, some papers in the literature that uh, support the use of the spine core as an effective treatment for AAS. And uh, except from uh, those from the original authors, Foyard and, and colleagues, other, other papers that supported this uh, uh, instrument. Uh, looking more deeply in the literature, in the review that we performed, the Cochrane review that we performed three years ago, we found a better efficacy of the rigid brace as compared to the spine core to treat AAS. This was made, uh, evidence was based, based mainly on the RCT by Wong. And uh, a couple of years ago, we uh, made our own study on the short-term results uh, of the spine core versus the rigid brace. And we found uh, a little better efficacy of uh, uh, the rigid brace. Uh, on the contrary, Gammon found similar results uh, for the spine core and rigid braces. So, the aim of this, yeah. In our practice, uh, uh, there is a, a precise target for the spine cord, uh, which is prescribed only between 20 and 30 degrees and risks 0 to 2. Uh, in this same kind of population, usually, as an alternative option, we use rigid braces for 18 to 23 hours a day. So the objective of the study was to compare these two treatments uh, um, on the long term, so at the end of treatment to see which is more effective. So we included 20 patients uh, treated with a uh, rigid brace uh, and 41 with a spine cord. As you can see, they had similar age, similar curb angle, similar aesthetic uh, impairment, similar bundle degrees. Patients were evaluated at the first visit and at the end of treatment. And the outcome measures were the trace for the aesthetics. The number changed, significantly changed, that is, uh, 5 degrees or more, and the ATR. As you can see from the graph, uh, there was a better uh, effect of the rigid brace, which is on the left. The green is the number of improved patients, which is larger for the rigid brace. We had 40 improved versus 22%. Stable were almost the same, and more worsened in the spine for 36% versus 15%. And these results were statistically significant. No one on the curve, even if worst, um, past the, the, the line of 40 degrees at the end of treatment. And we have 75% of patients in the spine cord group who completed the treatment below 30 degrees, and 95% in the rigid brace uh, group under 30 degrees. For the aesthetics, uh, we didn't find any relevant difference among the, among the two groups. Uh, the most of the patients improved in the spine cord, half of the patients improved in the rigid brace. This difference is not significant. And for the ATR, there was no difference in the final result. So, according to our data, we can say that the rigid brace is more effective than the spine cord to prevent scoliosis progression, even if also the spine cord had a good result in preventing this progression. Uh, the efficacy from the aesthetic point of view was the same. And uh, this is a confirmation of some of the previous results. Uh, our numbers are similar to those of Coyard. She had only spine, a spine cord group, no rigid brace. Uh, and similar to those of Wong, who demonstrated a, larger effect, a better effect of the rigid brace than uh, the spine cord. And the overall results we had both for the spine cord and for the rigid brace were, were better than the one of Gammon. Thank you. <coughs>